Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. And in today's episode, we are going to be building a couple of smaller houses. We said we were going to do that last episode, and then we ended up building this giant house, and <laughs> the house is alright, but it really didn't accomplish my goal of building a little, uh, a couple of little houses to kind of make this area seem a little bit more uh, habitated. So... We're going to work on that today. I'm going to build just a couple of smaller houses, but I think we're going to build one here and here. Just two that are kind of side by side, and I'm going to do pretty much everything I can to kind of keep them on the small-ish side. So, uh, we'll put three in between these, and then one, two, three, four, five, like that. That should be, that looks to be a pretty good size, I think. Maybe we'll scoot that over a little bit, though. Just a teeny bit, so we have a little bit more room for the other house as well. There, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, and then as far as shape and stuff goes, there's a few things that we can do. Um, we need to make sure that there's room for windows, and we're going to have to kind of be a little bit careful in some ways. Um because this is all the space we're working with, and I'd really like to still have this stuff recessed, but if we recess it by a block, we're only going to have one... <laughs> this will be the entire inside of the house, and that's just a little too small. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to something kind of along these lines. Instead of recessing it, we'll just do something like this, and then maybe we can use carpenter's blocks to, to add a little bit of depth kind of out here on the outside. Uh, so let's see, I'm thinking we put a door here, and let's just build, let's build this up one, two, three, uh, one, let's see, door would go here, let's go one more, so it'll be four high, yeah, four high, okay, that'll do, uh, so we'll just do something along these lines, and I'll go ahead and bring all this stuff up. Oop, misplaced that, but that's okay. There we go. And we'll just do something like this. Keep it real simple. We're essentially making a box, which I try to generally avoid doing, but for a small house like this, there's only so much that we're gonna be able to do. So we'll, we'll do a house here, and then I'm thinking we'll do another one that is roughly the same dimensions. One, two, three, four, five, over here. And we're gonna kind of push this one back a little bit. Um, I need to open up some space over here to work with. That should do. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, that should be enough space. Okay, cool. And then let's just kind of lay this out as well. So we'll have we'll have them at different levels of, uh, you know, different uh, distance. That's the word I was looking for. We'll have them a, distant, a different distance from the road. And we'll also kind of flip this one around, I think. Uh, just so they still look a little bit different. We don't want them to look identical. Um, like it's a copy-pasted house. But they're going to be very similar uh, in a lot of ways as well. So, uh, let's do that. That should be good. And then, oop, it's placed. Let's put our door in, and let me get these walls all filled in, and I'll come right back to ya. Alright guys, I am back. So, I've got the two houses kind of put in place here. I also went ahead and put in the, uh, the fur plank floor. I'm kind of thinking maybe we put that there, or maybe we just leave it the way it was, because uh, the door will ultimately kind of separate those two out. So I think this will be fine, but we'll do something like this. Now, we need to work out the roof for these, and I'm thinking we're going to go with a relatively simple roof here as well. Um, ki it's going to be kind of a hipped roof, I think. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that's basically a roof that kind of inclines on all sides. So it, it, it'll kind of meet in the middle, if that makes any sense. 
Uh, you'll see what I mean when we when we actually kind of get to this point. So it'll be kind of a hipped roof in some way. So there we go. Do that. And this one that needs to be. Okay, there we go. So we'll get something kind of like that going. And like this. Um, like that. Here, here, over. And then I need to make sure that essentially this all comes up to the same elevation. Uh, let's use dirt to get up here. There we go. So then this will essentially... Really? I'm out of... I'm out of slabs. Let's just make a bunch. There we go. Um, so this will, this right here is essentially going to be the top of our roof. Uh, and I think here we'll bring that up like this. So it'll be a little bit of a steeper slope. Um, kind of on the outsides like that. Let's see how that looks for a roof shape. Is that... Uh, that... I think will work. Although I don't know that that's necessarily going to fit. Well, maybe it will. I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, Just put that there so I get up here. There we go. Because the other thing that we're going to do is... The roof itself is actually going to come up above this level. So, uh, let's grab... Maybe some... Uh, that's not going to look good. Let's make some fur planks, I think. Or some fur uh, slabs, I should say. There we go. And I need some munchies because I am getting hungry. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So we're just going to put these down here in the corners. Like this. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to bring this whole roof kind of up to a point where it's going to meet in the middle. So it'll be kind of like this um, gradually sloping shape thing. <laughs> I, it's a terrible explanation, but I know what I mean. Um, okay. Okay. And then we'll maybe bring this up. And this up as well, like so. And then here, we'll do something like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. That That's about the look I was going for. I think we need to work out the corners of that a little bit more and just kind of fill them up a little bit. Like, um, here, maybe, or maybe take these guys out. So, like, that would be filled in, and that one would be filled in, and then maybe, maybe we do like this. Uh, that's not going to look good with a full block there, though that good this one needs to go away as well there okay let's take a sleep real quick and we'll take a look at that see what we think i think that's going to be a little bit better than it was uh we just basically wanted to add a little bit of uh mass to these corners yeah that looks better yeah that's much better okay so that's kind of a real basic little shape same color palette as everything else kind of going on here um but, very, very simple. Very simple indeed. So, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some carpenter's blocks. Here we go. Actually, let's grab a full stack of them. Uh, I'm just going to put this stuff away, as well as this stuff that I don't need. And I need my carpenter's hammer. There we go. Okay. So we're going to try this. I, I've never really done this before, but I think it could work. So what we're going to do is take our carpenter's blocks like this. Um, that needs to go away. 
and push them in, right? And then we'll apply this texture to them. And that will help us add a little bit of depth going up. Now, the tricky part is going to be applying the texture, because as you can see, that's not going to work. So I think what we're probably going to have to do is break uh, some of these so that we can get up there and apply the texture we want. And then re... Oh, nope. And then replace it. I think that's basically going to be what we're going to have to do, which is fine. That's perfectly okay. Uh, so let's just get up here and we'll put that and that and then there and there. There we go. That'll do. Okay. And then we can put these guys back as well, like that and like that. That should give us just a little bit of depth and it does. That looks good. I'm actually quite happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all the other pillars, and then I think I'm going to get this house uh, with the same roof style as the other one, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. Alright guys, I am back. So we've got both of the two houses, uh, and they are very, very similar, obviously. They both have the roof done, and they've both got these little pillars kind of supporting everything. So I think that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. There we go. And now we need to work out some details inside the houses as well. So I'm thinking up here, we're going to put some rafters that kind of go across like that. And then we'll fill in these bits with fur slabs. And I think that'll kind of help make the inside roof a little bit more interesting. We've used that in a few places so far. Uh, we're going to do that in here as well. Just like this, there we go. And I don't think there's enough space up there for anything to spawn either, so uh, I think that'll work just fine. Uh, am I out of food again? I am. Munchies. Okay, now I do want to put a chimney into both of these two houses, and I think I'm going to start with this one. So let's actually go and grab ourselves some, I think it's soapstone that we've been using. Yeah, soapstone. Wow, I'm actually really low on soapstone. I hope we have enough. I hope we have, I really hope we have enough for this. Uh, I think we will. They're relatively small houses, so I can't imagine this taking up too much space. Uh, but let's go and do something like this. Um, put a stair there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's our little chimney. That'll do. And then here, we'll maybe bring that out and like this. And then we can put soapstone here and here. Just for a, a real simple little chimney design. I think that'll work out pretty well. Um, this, on the other hand, we're going to have to do something like that, I think. And that goes up and in. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Uh, this needs to be something burnable, I think, though. So we can light that. Just so we have a little chimney. Like so. Speaking of which, we should check and see if this one's still burning. And it is. Good. And it's not, uh, and it doesn't, I, mm, I kind of want to dress up that chimney as well, just because it's not a very interesting one. Um, but that's fine for the moment. It's, it's okay. Okay, so we got that going. We need... We need a way to get up here. Let's just use carpenter's blocks for the minute. And our chimney comes up through half of this, right? Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy out and put this up like so. And then just cap it off 
Do I not have soapstone walls? I swear I, I grabbed some soapstone walls. Am I losing my mind? I feel like I'm going slightly crazy. Hmm. Are they still in here? Oh, sure enough. There they are. I am losing my mind. It's okay. Let's take a little sleep, and we'll see if we can get this sorted out again. Uh, that's diorite. I don't want diorite. I may have to go and get some more soapstone, though, to do the other one. Uh, but yeah, we got a little chimney kind of coming up right there. Oh, I thought that was a skeleton for a sec, but it was just my lamppost. Wow, okay. And then we'll just cap it off with a wall so it looks like a little chimney. And I think that works. It looks good from the outside. And from the inside, it should look pretty good as well. So, yeah, that'll do. That'll do quite nicely. Um, we do want to work out a chimney on the other house, though. And I'm thinking this one I'm going to put in this corner right here. This will be our our other little uh, chimney thing. So, now the, the thing is, for this... We need a fireplace design that, well, I suppose it could block the windows. How does that look? That actually, hmm, I don't know how I feel about blocking the windows. Maybe we'll just put these back like this. And then here, we'll maybe use carpenter's blocks, push them back like that. Ah, I do need more soapstone. Because I can't turn that back, can I? Hmm, okay. Let me go get some soapstone, guys. I believe I can go mine some down there. And I will come back to you in just a little bit. Alright, guys, I am back. I did a little bit of digging, and I was not able to find any soapstone around here. And then I remembered, that's because I'm looking in the wrong place. Um, the soapstone that I had found earlier was not in this ravine. I did find a little bit of iron, though, which is always good. Uh, the soapstone that I was looking for is not here... It's actually over there in that fir forest. Uh, that's where I found a little cave thing that had soapstone in it, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, it's been a little while since I've had to go get some, so I'm going to go see if I can find this cave again. I, I'm pretty sure it was over here. Maybe. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Now I don't know. I remember it being in a fir forest. And this is all fir wood. Is there fir over here? This is all spruce. Hmm. I'm gonna look around, guys. I'll see what I can find, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, I am back, and I didn't find the fir forest, but I did find some soapstone, so it'll be fine. Uh, I'm just gonna gather this up, and I hope that this will be enough for what we need. At some point, I'm going to really have to kind of go and get my hands on a lot of it uh, if we're going to continue using it as part of our kind of block palette for the, the winter village. So um, it's going to be really important that I do that. But for now, I think this will tide us over. So let me just grab this up. I'll head back to the winter village and I'll meet you there in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So I think we are good to go. Um, and let's see about getting this chimney done now. Uh, so we've got this in here. We need to go ahead and apply soapstone like that. And then I'm thinking we'll go ahead and replace these right here. Soapstone, soapstone, and like that. And then I'll light the fire back there. And that should work. Uh, I think this one here could actually be fur, and it would be fine. Yeah, that's not a bad look. That's not a bad look at all. Uh, and then up here, we just need to... What's the best way for me to get up there? Um, and actually, I need to grab... I need to grab my other soapstone stuff. My walls and things like that. So we can finish this off. Let's see. I need you, this stuff, and I may need some more carpet blocks, so we'll grab those two. Okay. No. I said shut the door. There we go. Alright, so, let's figure out... Um... No. <laughs> no, that's... 
It, this is why carpenter's blocks make very poor, <laughs> very, very poor uh, scaffolding blocks. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. So, this is our thing. So, this one right here should be where the chimney is. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. And we'll just bring that up to about here maybe make it just one taller than the other and then drop that on it and that should be good let's see how that looks from over here pretty good i think that the chimney in this one might be a little bit too high maybe we bring that down just a smidge just a little bit. So it's actually lower. So like to here. That might be better. Mm, now it's not visible. <laughs> uh, you win some, you lose some. Okay. I guess we'll make them the same height. It's fine. One was too much. One was not enough. I think that feels good to Cool. Okay, and then... So we got the chimneys in there. We've got the fireplaces in there. Now we really just need to kind of add doors to them. And, uh... Put the windows in. Maybe do a little bit of interior stuff if I feel like it. I don't know that I feel like it. We'll see. Um... Put all this stuff away. Anything else in here that I don't need? No, not really. A lot of this stuff can go away, though. And then we need our iron bars. And we've been using oak doors basically everywhere else. So let's make a couple oak doors. Do I have a crafting bench in here? I do. There we go. Two oak doors. I think this will do nicely. So, windows. Like so. There we go. Do the same over here. And then we'll put a door right there. And a door right here. That looks good. Yeah, that actually looks really good. I'm actually quite satisfied with that. Just a couple of cute little houses. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. Nothing too complicated. Just... Very simple, but uh, definitely makes the village feel more like a village. So, you know, you come in through the road, and we've got a couple of houses here. We've got the little stables. We've got a bigger house. We've got another bigger house over here. Uh, and then the pathway is probably going to... I'm probably going to have to do something with this um, to move that out of the way. We'll have the road kind of split here and go that way, and then probably split here and come... I don't know, maybe maybe we'll have some sort of something right in here as not so much like a, a basically just a point of interest, maybe a fountain or um, a statue or something like that. Something that's not really a building, but that, you know, that makes it seem as if we, uh, as if this road leads to something rather than just leading over here and connecting to the houses. So I think the road would be best if it kind of came up this way and then takes you to a statue or a fountain or a shrine or, you know, something along those lines. I think that would be good. Uh, but guys, I think I am pretty much out of time for this episode, so I think I'm going to call this one right here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and why am I renaming my backpack? Torch is what I meant to do. There we go. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.